Hello everyone, I am Jehovah. Welcome to Minecraft. Today is a little different. I'm going to show you how I made my little sheep farm. It's a semi-automatic farm. There are a lot of farms out there that are better than this, but I like it. I like to see the sheep. and, and uh, So let's get into this because people have been asking about it. So it's, it's really, you know, very basic redstone as you can see. You got a button on this side. This will dump the water. It'll send the sheep going over to the edge, except for this dumb one that's stuck behind the ladder. He'll make his way out of there eventually. And then you just come over, crack the button, and it automatically shears them. Now this is only going to work on 1.14 because the dynamic that you can put a, uh, a shear inside of each one of these dispensers to dispense the shear and shear the sheep. Then you simply turn the water back off, and you go. Now, I don't recommend building this in a cold environment like I'm doing right here, simply because sometimes I have seen that uh, water bucket turn to ice. You don't want that. So let's go ahead and build this guy out real quick. Um, so basically what you want to do, and I'm going to do this one underground a little bit easier. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight by eight. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And you just dig this out. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then this just puts them down on the ground. This is not absolutely necessary. It requires a little bit more digging if you do it this way. <clears throat> As you can see on the other one, I did it above ground. It works just fine. And style has a lot to do with this. Whatever your style of build might be, you choose that for yourself. Okay, so the first thing's first. I've got my 8x8 pin, so let's go ahead and dig out one more for this side. And I'll place a row of dispensers. So there's eight dispensers right there. Now in front of those, I will have to dig a trench for my hoppers. And this is where it really becomes personal preference, what you want to do. So I'll put two chests out here. This is where I'm going to be collecting all of my goods. I will then make a row of hoppers. Uh, hold shift to click the chest. And then just hold shift down and attach these hoppers to each other. And that means whatever goes into one hopper will go all the way down and be shifted to here. And I'll have it in this bucket or this box. What do you want to call it? Now you have to dig this area out here. and this area right here and you're going to want to rebury this later and i'll show you why uh, okay so then what we're going to do is put our repeaters one repeater in front of each one of these dispensers and a row of redstone leading away like so and what i usually do is put a button right here i don't have a button on me Baton. So I'll put the button. Ah, come on. Right there. And that will energize all of these dispensers right here. Now, very important, you want to put a block on top of each one of these guys. Uh, before I do that, well, no, let's go ahead and do that. It doesn't matter what block it is, but it does have to be a block because when you shear the sheep, What's going to end up happening is they're going to, their wool is going to bounce everywhere. And right here, you don't have to use a solid block. You could use a clear block like I've done over there. But it does have to be too deep in order for the sheep not to uh, escape. So I've got this part here. Now, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. <clears throat> and there's a couple ways to do this. I haven't really experimented with going uh, one more. So I usually just do it right here. And then I'll put my dispensers down. You know what? We're working here. Let's actually see what happens to the sheep if we put it back here. So I'm going to put it at 9 instead. Now water flows 7 deep, so that should stop right at the edge of this dispenser. I'm sorry, right at the edge of these hoppers. Let's see if it'll push the sheep on over. I believe it will. So we'll put these dispensers down here. 
like so. And then what we're going to do is... I know why that doesn't work, because I've tried this before. Because the water will flow into... No, it won't. No, it won't. I'm getting ahead of myself. All right, we'll knock all this out. And if you don't like to dig, again, you can put this all on top of the land. But you just come in here, put a repeater on each one of these, and then repeat the process of the redstone coming down this way. You can put these buttons absolutely anywhere you want to. It does not matter. Um, however, what I'll do here is actually extend it out where my button will be outside of the wall. And so here you want to put a block down. You'll put a button on top of that block. And then you'll have to cover these things up like so. Cover, cover, cover. So now all of your redstone mechanics are protected. And then you want to build a wall around this thing so they can't get out. Now what I typically do is put a ladder. Uh, it's a good idea, as you saw on the other one, to put your ladder back on this side. So, ladder. Put you right there. And you just want to put it one up high so it doesn't block the water, but that way you can get out. Uh, but they can't. So now we have to load these things, and what you want to do is you have to go to shears. And we're going to do eight of those. So one, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And you're going to want to load one in each one of these dispensers. And by putting the shears in there, <clears throat> they're going to be ready to shear some sheep for you. All right, and you're also going to have to do this with water buckets. So let me go grab some water buckets here. There we go. We do the same thing. Just toss your water bucket in. It's a very simple design. If I thought of it, it is very simple. Now, again, someone else may have already done this. I apologize. I'm not trying to steal anybody's idea. I just created this. I had not seen anyone else do it, and uh, people were asking questions, so I thought I would show it. So you come out here, you click your button, your water comes out, and it flows all the way to the edge. Now the question is going to be, is it going to push the sheep onto the hoppers? And I, I'm pretty sure that it will. So, But before we can do that, we're going to have to have some sheep. So let's get eight sheep. Now, of course... You could fill this with more sheep, but here's the deal. you got to remember, they have to eat grass in order for their coats to come back. <clears throat> so I don't want to have this all turned to dirt. You can see quite a bit of it's already dirt. But what you got to do now is just hit the button. The sheep will float their way over. Be knocked down into the hoppers. And when they're down there, you just hit the button right here. And there you go. They get sheared. Hit it again. And the second row gets sheared. So I've got a bunch of sheared sheep. And then you hit the button one more time. And this is, again, why you don't want to build in a cold environment. Look what happened here. So I'll have to get another water bucket and put it in there. <clears throat> now, to combat this, uh, previously, I put some torches down. So we just do that. Grab some torches. Not 100% sure that this is going to prevent that from happening, especially under the ladder. But, you know, what do you do? So let's see. Push it again. Push them all down to the end because we got a sheep we can shear here. And just hit the shearing button. There you go. And it's lossless. There are no wool that will get away because you have that second high wall. But then, of course, on the back side, you will have to cover this up to protect it as well. So these work really well if they're inside of a wall or in a mountainside, something like that. But there you have it. It's pretty simple design, pretty easy to build. Doesn't cost a lot of materials. You will have to go to the end, or I'm sorry, not the end, but the nether world, so that you can get the uh, quartz needed to make the repeaters. But that's about it. 
Like I said, a lot of other designs out there, a lot more simple than this. But I like it because you can actually make fences up here like I did with the other one over there. I did glass. But you could put fences up or something like that, make it look cooler. Whatever design you wanted to make, it doesn't matter. At the end of the day, what matters is you will have a lot of wool available to you. And you could either make multiple pins where you have different colors and things like that. So I hope you liked it. If you did, hit that like button, maybe subscribe. Uh, until next time, my name is Jehovah, and I will catch you later. Goodbye.